Hello everyone, welcome to my new episode. Today I am going to prepare a very different dish, but it's very, very, very common in our old Hindu houses. If you go to see, there's a lot of pride of our Hindu family because they make the shakoti very well, masala, especially of chicken. And it comes all the way from Perne Conselho. There, there are a lot of pidreir, we call pidreir means housework, they do it. And these are then farmers. They always do it once, twice a year or once a year, this shakoti. This shakoti is supposed to be a very, very hot, spicy. When they finish their work of the house, machinery house, with the cold things every day, and from field, every day cold, they, with the rain and everything, they make, last day they make this shakoti. And it's very, very spicy. We will not be able to eat like that. Only people who eat spice, they can eat it. It's because they make it so spicy that everything should come out from their mouth, from nose, the water. Everything should come the cold, which they got it inside in their body, that comes out. And they, they believe it, that they are now all right. And they will, nothing will happen to them. No cold remain in their body. That's what we call shakoti. It's a very tiring job, actually, to make that shakoti. It consists of different ingredients. Say almost 16, 17 ingredients goes in that. Today I'm preparing the same masala with different fruit. People make vegetable shakoti, people make potato shakoti, people make mushroom shakoti. They make different vegetable shakotis. But I prefer it to make it something different with we call a cashew fruit shakoti. I have to remove the seed from this apple fruit of cashew and cut it into pieces, small pieces, and apply salt to it and keep it on the side. Now I have to take all the ingredients. Ingredients are very, very tough job to remove this. You have to combine these all ingredients together to make this gravy. First, I'll take it fresh coconut one, small one, and grate it well. Then I'll slice the onion, one number. Then I'll slice two, three garlic flakes, a small piece of ginger. This first I will roast it separately. It should be light brown in color and keep it on the side. Now you take the other ingredients. Red chilies, dry, say about four to five hours. Coriander seeds, then you take it garam masala, pepper corn, green cardamom, say about two, three, uh, three, four green cardamom, four, five hours of pepper corn, a small piece of cinnamon stick, little, uh, four, five hours cloves, any stars, say about one full or two full, any star to get a good flavor. The flower, any flowers, we call the uh, javetri. Then we can take it not nutmeg. Nutmeg should be very less. It should not be more than one, just one pinch of nutmeg powder. Poppy seeds, say about two, uh, one tablespoon. Fennel seeds, one teaspoon. Uh, one ball of, small ball of tamarind, whole tamarind. This all, you roast it separately. Don't mix up, roast it with the coconut and all. And it should not be roast very black. You will spoil the taste of the masala. If you burn it, it will turn bitter. The masala will turn bitter. So it should not be very brown in color. It should be roast well but not brown. After roasting, you take this and put in the blender with one cup, tea cup of water and grind it till it becomes like this paste. Once you got the paste, remove, stop the grinder and remove the paste and keep it on the side. Now what you do, first you keep the 
suspend on the fire. Let it get hot and I'll use a coconut oil, not the olive oil, but a coconut oil, fresh coconut oil. I'll put it two, three spoons of coconut oil. First, I'll put a few curry leaves to get the flavor. If you want, you can use mustard seeds, but I don't like to use mustard seeds, so I'll use curry leaves. I'll let it get hot. I'll let it get fry well. The oil is hot and curry leaves are getting fried. So I'll add it, chop onion to it. And fry it till it becomes brown. Onions are ready, fried. Now I'll add it, the ground masala to it. And mix it well. Now cook 2-3 minutes for the masala so that color comes well and flavor gets better. I'll just add the water to it afterwards. By the time I cut cashew fruit into cubes and marinate it with the salt, mix it with salt and kept it. Now I'll add to this, to the masala. I'll just add it one more fruit to it so that it get a fresh flavor. Now I'll put the marination leftover water to it and, and let it get cooked for say about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll just cover it so that cashew nut fruit cashew will get cooked faster. It's almost cooked cashew shakoti almost cook so i'm going to add now fresh coriander to it and little bit of green chili slit green chili to it so that it will taste better the dish is ready i'm going to remove it in the and serve it I'll just put a little coriander on top. The dish is ready to serve. This dish is ready and it goes well with rice as well as bread. You can eat with the bread also. Thank you very much for watching this preparation and I'll see you for the next episode. Please try it to do it at home because there is a cashew nut season, a cashew season, so that you get a lot of cashew fruits. Use that and make it a shakoti out of it and please send me the comments. Thank you very much and God bless you.